If you've had enough of knowing that anyone can see what you look like, what you do, we have a solution. Citizens of Chicago, we are dead sec. You have heard enough lies. It is time to hear the truth. So we're showing a new trailer. Uh, we're talking about one of our factions that we call DeadSec, which is a group of hacker uh, act activists within our game world. Uh, and we're also doing, uh, with press, uh, ends on on our open world, allowing them to experiment with our gameplay, playing the way they want to play. Plus, we're showing, off, uh, we're showing off our companion app, which basically allows you to play from your mobile directly with the console or PC version in a competitive mode. So we have that competitive mode here for people to experiment with. So they're able to go in the open world and go and uh, attack a control center the way they want. Try to put the back door in the server systems used to manage the city so that they have more hacking power afterwards. And then we allow the, the, the press and we allow the gamers to go and, uh, and explore the city so uh, sometimes they encounter crimes that they can try and intervene into. Jesus, I told you to stay away from you me! You belong to me now, get it? You better leave or I'll call the cops! Other times they might uh, they might end up meeting other players who came in and tried to hack them. Uh, so basically, we're just allowing the player to explore what more uh, to play the free roaming side of Watch Dogs. So it's kind of a mid-game progression. So you're able to hack into uh, many things like steam pipes, uh, road blockers, obviously uh, cell phone com uh, communications, uh, surveillance systems. So the CCTV within our Chicago. Uh, you're able to hack into traffic lights or uh, the train. So we have about mid-game progression. For, uh, for this demo. Uh, in Chicago, there's a steam, steam heating system, so uh, steam is being distributed through the city to heat building uh, during winter uh, and during fall, and so uh, you're able to hack into the maintenance system and cause pressure points, explosions, steam, steam explosions. I don't know if you've ever seen a video of that, but it's pretty violent when it happens. Uh, and so the player is going to be able to trigger some of those across the city. So we've already shown at E3 how you're able to get into someone else's single player game and hack into him. Uh, you can also have other types of mission. For example, you can get mission to tail secretly another player who's doing, uh, who's exploring the city in his own single player adventure. Uh, and this is a meta game where you're going to try and become the most powerful hacker, putting viruses in other players and creating your network of people that you put viruses into. Uh, but we also have other competitive modes that we're going to be talking more about in the future. For everybody involved in seamless multiplayer, they are always in their city. You know, we're using multiplayer, you go through a, a lobby and then you, you know, choose a game mode and then you jump into some kind of game uh, arena. For us, it's like you're in your single player and you get a contract like any other single player mission or you're looking for a player in this, uh, for a target in the city and you see various players who are all also playing single player and when you ch pick a contract or you go after a player, you will seamlessly get into their game. So, you know, you'll go to where they are and they will just be there within their game world. And they will not see you as Aiden Pierce. They'll see you as any other civilian within their city. So it creates a kind of sense of paranoia. You know, is it another player? Is it an another AI? What's going on? This is great because it's, uh, it's unpredictable and it feeds into how we like to create a game world where stuff happens and it's not always running on a script and you get surprises. And so basically the players are able to go and put viruses in other players, virtual viruses, obviously, and build their, their network of botnets. And you always see the players you put the virus into. And in that way, you try and compete to become the most notorious hacker within Watch Dogs. The virus is still doing damage. Shut it down. Now is the time to wake up. 